The media gallery template we're creating is based on a portrait layout, and that just means that the slide is taller rather than the wider or landscape mode that most projects are created in. So to change the orientation of the slide, we just go up to the Design tab, go to Slide Size over here, and choose Custom Slide Size. Now, because I'm working in PowerPoint 2013, the default slide size is set to widescreen. Now, I want this interaction to fill the portrait mode on an iPad, so I need to work from that 4x3 ratio. So the first thing I'm going to do is change widescreen to on-screen show, which is the 4x3. And to rotate my slides, I just need to select the portrait layout. And if you are familiar with the measurements, then you'll recognize that the 10 inch by 7.5 is also entered here, although we're used to seeing it as a 10 for the width and 7.5 for the height. Well, that's it. Go ahead and click OK to return to the slide. You're going to get a couple options. These really don't make a difference to us because we don't have any content to maximize or fit. So you can choose either in this instance. Go ahead and save your file. And in the next movie, we'll go ahead and set up our custom theme fonts and theme colors.